Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> uh, to today's vlog, today is the what? 5th of August. And we are going to the government hospital today so that my husband gets to donate blood. And um, I basically go for another attendant class. Um, I hope I'm able to do my scan and get my seats, well, my seats bath. <laughs> yeah, but basically, I'm gonna take you around. So, if you're gonna be on this vlog, please stay tuned and do not go anywhere. I'll be right back. Mwah. Say hi. How many wives do you have? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, I'm sure they beat a lot of Muslims here. Yes. One. Have you slept with any other woman apart from your wife? <laughs> I want oh. Am I supposed to tell him, oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have a babe. You know, you, you now hide and be like, <laughs> because you know I'm right there. So you say you should go and eat and then you come back and tell him that you're ready. He now said I should go back to where he took my blood sample and tell him that he did more. I'm ready to explain it. But of course, we need to wait for the results to come out. Okay. Alright. So, uh, we're going to go and eat right now. Because your girl is always ready. And we'll see. Ask him husband if he has two wives. If he has more wives, maybe. if he has more babes. <laughs> How many wives do you have? How many wives do you have? Tell me. Hmm? One. Who is she? What's her name? My mother. At this point, they had asked us or seen my husband to get food. But because I had anticipated it, I brought food from the house. And this is like my all oh, our favorite family dish or well, one of them but this is the current fave so or was the current fave at the time when this video was made <laughs> but yeah like it's it's one of our theme so Oh guys, so um, I'm at the private hospital now for my teenage child too. So, uh, I'll just let you know how we go. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make like proper videos, but I'll basically just just you. So, and then we'll see. We'll compare what it looks like to be. In a private hospital, and then when it looks like to be in a government hospital, and attending at Central in both places, and then my deciding where amongst the two I want to have my baby. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm finally done with my attendant today. Um, I was able to finish with my class, and what we showed the labor room, delivery room, theater, and everything. And I just give God praise. So I'm basically going to give you back the gist and all of this. I'll get back to you. I need to leave now. Hi. So I was in a hurry and I had to leave. Someone was waiting for me. But right now I'm back to give you the gist of um the private hospital at Tunet Hall. Oh this cornrows though. This cornrows though. It's so nice. Nice though. Okay, please. I took off my wig. And so part of my makeup is gone because I've had lunch and brunch and breakfast and everything else in between. So I couldn't really do plenty vlog in the a lot of vlogging rather in the private hospital because there were a lot of people and I didn't want to like, you know, do stuff and anybody feels offended in any way. So basically the gist is hi good evening okay anybody just passed <laughs> even though she's right like right in front of me okay so the gist is 
usually come in today they made me sit outside because a lot of people were there and we were waiting for turns so they wanted to decongest they check your blood temperature they check your temperature your body temperature and you know you go in go get your vitals so let me show you guys something interesting there's my bag so when you go for your vitals you check your blood pressure they check for protein in your urine <laughs> i know this is embarrassing and shit but it's not even embarrassing to me because like it is what it is so they check for that and um your weight too the last time i put you out i can't remember i think i was just like 75 but today i'm like 78 is it 78 again because i'm not sure scrap that i'm not sure I didn't take record of that but yeah as as my baby's growing so my weight will be increasing so it is what it is eventually I, I got to see the doctor I met a friend like from you un, from uni days I should just hide myself like don't look at me don't look at me I take my picture don't vlog me your, 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 in your vlog and that's cool cuz like everybody and your stuff she wants her privacy so i'm going to give it to her so she's not going to be on this vlog but either we've had a good time catching up and what have you so i go into the doctor's office they check my baby's fine we're doing all right and counting down slowly um what else what else is new yes today interesting so this is my friend i met and one other friend of hers too both of them were able to like get the matron or assistant matron to like take us to the delivery room waiting room and then they also showed us the um the theater in case like operation happens or like you have to do cs so my honest review waiting room delivery room is whack yeah i said that yeah i said that it's whack looks so ugly it's not fine at all and i'm like huh is this my friend is this the first thing my baby would see when she comes into this world <laughs> like it's so crazy she's like so if my baby comes this is what she will see huh no 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 but she doesn't like him but either way we're just there like we're just looking drab me i'm like ah so i'm going to use this please like i'm definitely going to come in my own bed sheets and you know like it was, it was just uh, that's how I felt that's how I felt about it this way is how I felt about it with all the plenty money they are charging us in that private hospital I'm going to withhold the name but like with all the plenty money I beg you should do better but like yeah they were all nice showing us the play, different places I couldn't do any vlog there because I just really wanted to respect people were in the room so it even felt good that they were showing us the surgical room looked okay delivery room looked really ah. i'm like is this all there is but yeah this is what it is i'm going to ask my friend who has had a baby in the government hospital where i'm going to so she can give me like what a description of what that place looks like and in fact let me see if i can get her on the phone but no, if I get her on the phone, she's probably busy or at work and won't be in the right frame. But I'll probably record our conversation or just come back here and give you a gist of it before I wrap up with this vlog. On the last vlog, I was going to ask my friend about the what the government hospital delivery room was like, or maybe like operation theater and what have you. Vis a vis what I had already what I had already seen at the private hospital so i had called her that day and I'm like oh this is what i want or this is what i'm asking about what's what what was your experience like what were the equipment like how did you see it and everything what's your opinion and she's like she's pretty much like oh babe it's the same thing like the beds you were complaining about it's pretty much the same thing so there's really no difference so I'm kind of stuck <laughs> um, but after today I had my um, 
that's not all with the private clinic yesterday i didn't record that so but after today i'm going to make up my mind after discussing with my husband where we eventually have our baby so but i don't know and i'll let you guys know when the baby comes <laughs> you know where we eventually decided to have the baby so but until then that's what's gonna be so guys i just finished my antenatal today and for today rather and it took so long longer than i expected i'm so worn out i'm tired and i just want to go home i met a few people <laughs> like we became friends like there and then and they were, they, they, they got into labor right there and i'm like eh. <laughs> so i have to go pack my bag because i don't know um secondly they said when it's time i'm gonna have to take off my nails and ev everything like um if your nails are fixed or if it's just polished both your toenails everything has to be clean you can't come with no nails or polish and stuff like that so that's been settled baby's fine mama is fine dad is fine <laughs> and yeah we can go home so guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Y'all should encourage me. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and be cool. Subscribe. Please add your the unla. The unla. The unla. The unla. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, please, please. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.